How's it going, guys? This is Mufta, FGBFX. Um, so we'll dive straight into it. Um, this is Monday, so I, I didn't have time for yesterday. Um, so we're looking at the pound, first of all. Um, the pound, as you can see, has got into a very good uh, was a that the double bottom on the weekly earlier on, and if if you would see very well, we have this um, rejection um, indecision candle at the very key level of the pound. Um, so hopefully the pound would correct today. If it corrects, I'm I'm very very bullish on the pound because of the double bottom on the monthly. So double bottom over here first of all. And now we have a, a retracement um, to the top side. Yeah. So, and when we go back to the daily, you could see that the pound is uh, uh, is, on, is on a very good retracement level, 61.8. So I'm still very bullish on the pound to this level right here. That's where I'll be looking to short from. I wouldn't take this short, but for short-term traders, uh, my, my, my trades uh, have long-term horizons. So I'll be looking to short on the weekly retracement level. So I'm still very bullish, but short-term traders from three to four days kind of uh, time horizon might want to take the break of the pound. Um, and it's already doing what it's going to do. Um, So you might, you might see a retracement, a correction to the downside. To the downside here. Uh, hopefully. So from here onward, to be looking to, I'll be looking to get in on the on the buy. So from this zone, I'll be looking to get on the buy to the upside. And it's Monday. I, I don't like Mondays. I, I dread the the moves on Mondays. I don't really follow moves on Monday. So this might also be a very good fake out just to lure people into selling the pound. Um, and it might not be, but I'm still very bullish on the pound. Uh, that is my... But this pair looks like it's, it's going to correct today. So if it breaks down to the downside, I'll be looking to buy. But for now, breakout traders will be in already. Uh, it's the US Open. So breakout traders will be in already from this level onwards. Uh, the pound might go very, 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 very low to the downside. And you can see a rising wedge here, basically. Uh, I think that's, that's my view on the pound from last week. Uh, I'll be waiting on my buy. Um, let's look for pound AUD. Yeah, pound AUD, we, if you check our previous analysis, you will see that uh, we call the retracement just around here, you know, for for bias. It was around here when um, I said it might retrace to this level, and it did trade it at around this level and, and continue the buy up. I still am very bullish on. I think overall I'm bullish on the pound, but when you look at this pair, it it looks as if it's going to correct today. If it corrects, I'm looking for buys. So my buys, I'll be looking at um, a retracement around this level here before I get in on the buy. But if it doesn't get here by the end of this week, yeah, hopefully it should um, go up. Um, I'll be short from this from this um, from this exact price. So uh, what, from what I've just done now, you you could tell that I have the way I trade. I I, I usually have a bias, so if I'm bullish, I'm bullish onto, until a point. So if I'm bullish from here until this point, that means I'm not going to be taking any sales until it gets to this point. So basically, that's how I trade, and that's how I found most of the successful traders trade. And if you want to be successful, right, you have to emulate the, the successful ones, yes. So... Mm -hmm. um, pound AUDS. Um, so that's just it. It's in a, it's in a range bound on the monthly time frame. It's in, it's in a range. So 
And this is a double top. It's a good entry for, for short-term sellers. Short-term sellers. Um, short-term sellers. I think the pounds are having a breakdown early this morning. Uh, Euro USD. Euro USD also, this pair is very, very bearish. So I won't be looking at buys. It's very, very bearish. Um, so last week, I expected it to get to this level, but it didn't. Hopefully, it should continue there by the by maybe during the week we should see a retracement there. Uh, you could see that it has broken multi multi month highs, multi sorry multi month lows, and it's on a very good retracement levels, uh, very good um, support levels where buyers will come in. So to see here, 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 lots of places on the weekly that means it's very strong. So it bounced off this level, retrace to the top side. Bounce off the uh, support, um, retrace to the top side, retracement of this move, of this move here. Of this, uh, I think that was a 61.8 move of, of this down move here. I say I expect it to come down because of my horizon, the way I trade, I, I like the bigger, bigger time frames. So short sellers will have gone in here very fast and taken their profit. Uh, I still feel from my analysis that it's, it, it, we could get a move up, but I'm bearish, so I will be taking the buy. Exactly. So the way I explained how I trade, I won't be taking any buys. I just wait for it to get to my selling point. When it gets to my selling point, I don't think about anything else. I'm just getting in the short. So hopefully it gets there and gives you a good risk to reward ratio. Uh, that's the main reason we do that. Um, I think Euro USD. So Euro USD, um, the bias is still bullish. So we might see a little bit of, of if it's going to pull back, we should see a very sharp pullback to the upside. Very sharp one. Very, very sharp one to the upside before it brings everyone down. So you as a chef, you as a chef, um, if you looked at um, last week analysis, uh, last week trade idea, you would see that uh, you as a chef have been this way and you've been trying to, uh, it was range bound on the weekly time frame and on the daily time frame also. Um, there was a wedge that got broken, retest, then it consolidates. Now I'm just going back, you know, to retrace this whole move. Let me just bring in something else here. Break out of the triangle, retested, continue downwards, it hit resistance or whatever. And started being in a range. Now this is a range here, and this range constitutes of one move itself. So this way we can say this is the same thing as saying this is one move retracement. Then it's going to continue down, right? So I'll be looking to short on here. But if it doesn't hold around here, I will be closing at a loss around here. Basically, so I know after this point I'll be wrong, so I have to get out of the trade and look for another entry if that would come out. So basically, that's how I trade. When you're wrong, you know you have to get out and don't try to force anything else unless you are Warren Buffett and you have like a million dollars in the account and you risk only zero point zero 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 percent. So on the daily, and one thing else, I, I don't go below four hour time frame for my entry. I only do four hour time frames. The lowest I go is four hour. I've never, I've, I've never seen them um, uh, in the in the in the past few months. It's been a long time since I saw a the one hour time frame and how it has been done. I rarely go to the one hour time frame. So you can see it's in range bound on the daily time frame. The range bound, there's a, there's a good consolidative pattern going on here. When it breaks out the accumulation, when it breaks out the accumulation, it's going to be massive. So basically what you are waiting for is a catalyst. The catalyst 
for me is because I'm a technical trader, I'll be looking at a good support, a good resistance level that can easily break out this range. So we'll be looking at something, you know, it goes up, find then look at something that can break it down to the downside. That would be very, very, very great. So hopefully, and that's what you're looking out for in this trade. Be waiting, waiting patiently, waiting, waiting, waiting. Hopefully we get there. Um, that's you as a chef, pound USD. Um, you guys, sorry about that. I think a vehicle is passing by. Yes. So Aussie dollar, Aussie dollar. Um, this is the Aussie dollar. Aussie dollar is a very good bearish, you know. I missed it last week. I missed this trade. I was blind to, to this level here, which I used to trade. So I was expecting it to continue to this level before it broke to the downside, but it didn't. So now I've missed the trade. What would I do? I'll wait for, for a retracement of this move. You don't want to be on the... On the um, you don't want to be on the... On the wrong side of a trade really you don't want to be on the wrong side you don't want to chase a trade because i've missed this trade i won't be entering here so i wait for a good retracement level so i wait for it to give us maybe um wait for it to give us a retracement to the downside or it gives us a double top a good double top before it falls to the downside but well, I expect more downside on the Aussie dollar. So my outlook is bearish. I'll be only I'll only be looking for sales on this pair. So for now, I'm sure buyers will get in the four hour the four hour traders. It's on a good resistance, um, good support level. Four hour buyers will get in. So as soon as it breaks out of this range, we should see up moves like this to the top side. So buyers will get in today, hopefully, on your signal. I'm not a buyer in this uh, in this pair. I think we've talked about the euro, Aussie dollar, you're the chef, pound USD. Yeah, we talked about pound USD, um, euro NZD, euro AUD, euro UDS. I think it was one of last week's uh, trade again that I missed. <laughs> missed a lot of trade this week. This month, sorry. Um, so there was a retracement. It was around here when you know waited for the retracement to happen. Then, um, for sure, it's going to continue to the upside. But now the risk to reward is very, uh, it's not very comfortable. So I won't be entering. But short term bias we should be entering on flags, right? So the pair should be giving you flags. Some people like to enter on the break of flags and triangle patterns. You know, so if it breaks to the top side, people buy the aggressive entries will enter. And the uh, the conservative guys would like to, you know, wait for a retracement before they buy to the top side. Uh, so guys, just be very careful, manage risk very well. And don't forget guys, if you find this useful, just, uh, you know, just subscribe and like the, the page um, or wherever you're watching this from because we have Facebook pages, uh, we have Instagram and the website is also there. So kindly share, like, you know, and anything you feel you, we could improve on, you could just leave in the comment section. Yeah. Uh, this pair, pound NZD. This is a double top, all right. The pound NZD, you know, there was a double bottom that retraced to the top side and retraced more than 100%. Now it's, it's at a double top level. And the only thing that's keeping me skeptical about this trade is, is that the structure looks so bullish that I think it's going to get past this high. It's going to get past this high. The structure, it's just a, a you, you can call it experience or observation over time i feel it's going to break out although it's a good uh, people would want to enter 
this pair right here because a very good double top very very good double top but i'm very skeptical about it uh, so the 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 best thing i think this pair will do is to give us like a little consolidative pattern downside you know something like this then it continues to the top side then from here we want to sell a big sell yeah so basically uh, those are my trades for for this week and towards next month uh, hopefully we have a good week all of us um, so the pound aud pound ng euro and gd pound usd usd chef euro usd aussie dollar so guys, I think that's all for for this week. Make sure to leave a comment uh, in the comment section, and uh, let's let's hear our thoughts. Yes, so have a have a good um, trading week, guys, and bye bye.